Bowie, Grano, we win by my fellow Transformers fans. It is I, Monkey, again for another review. I've done it again, you know. I did the whole video thinking I was doing a video, and I wasn't. I was doing a camera. So I did a shot at the beginning and a shot at the end. I was just like, ah. Well, it's good rehearsal time, isn't it? So I'm here again, and I thought instead of doing like a separate one for the toys that I got, this week and then a review I thought I'd just do it all at the same time might as well Come on. so thank you thank you thank you thank you Rat Chat 25 so name your poison name your poison all I'm saying we shall be you shall be drinking it so, so um, yes so I did some research the, I am a novice. I am a novice compared to some of you guys. And when it comes to G1, I am quite knowledgeable. Uh, the characters, about the characters, uh, the storyline. Um, when it comes to the, the plastic, yeah, I need to learn a lot. So, well, I'm doing them in the order of how I got them. Okay, I got them out of the box. So, we have, um, I'm, I'm all de giddied out now. I've had them for a couple of days. Played about with them, transformed them and stuff. Loved it. Um, I wanted to actually say something. It was kind of funny. We were, I was checking out the video that I did of this. No, not this one. The one before, the Ultra Magnus one. And I was saying, like, you know, thank you to Caroline. Looking at, uh, you know, dealing with it. And I was saying, like, she has to deal with all this. But... As you saw in the video, and the wife pointed this out, by the way. <laughs> you see, see that shelf there? Uh, that's mine, and this is mine. That's hers. All that is hers as well. <laughs> okay. So yeah, see, I have, I have three hobbies: Transformers, movies, um, movies, TV, movies, and. Uh, Games Workshop, you know, Warhammer 140k. The wife has like card making, knitting, crocheting, uh, uh, she, she's done uh, all kinds of stuff and she, she, she takes over everything basically. So I love it. So yeah, <laughs> she's a bigger geek than I am sometimes. She has a friend, she has a friend at work whose husband is a geek. And the, both the pair of them at work chatting about, oh, have you seen Avengers? Is it good? Blah, blah, blah. This and the other. Have you seen that? And the other. They sound like geeks themselves. So she may have started as a non-geek when she met me. And she's a bit of a geek now. So, yeah. A lot of geek. She gets all my Star Wars jokes. Right. So, back to this. Beast Wars, Megatron, as you all knew, um, with the flap and everything. It's just amazing. Thank you, man. It's really good. He's one of my favorites out of the lot. When you sent me, man. He's really cool, and I do like him. More about Beast Wars in a bit. Now, I thought this was Sharticon. Um, I'm, I'm very unknowledgeable. I, I was going on about R.I.D. last week uh, on the last video because I thought this was... Uh, Sky, Skybike. It is Shantico. I thought it was Skybike. And um, that's why I was going on about the uh, R.I.D. But it's not a Shantacon. And he's gorgeous. The, the colours and everything. Pretty, man. Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Um, 2007 movie Bumblebee. Old Camaro. Really nice. Really, really good. Nice. And the button thing. Oh, my God. I lost it. I was on Skype. So I was on Skype. The other day, uh, with some of the guys, and I was saying like, oh, I'm, I'm stuck here, no camera, right? No camera. This is how knowledgeable it was. The Fallen 385, and uh, live for the, uh, live for nothing, die for everything, or is it live for everything, die for nothing? I think it's the first one. Steve, and I'm going, I got this thing, I'm stuck here, blah blah blah, just explaining to them, and they said, there's a button there, just press it, and I went, oh. Like that, I was amazing. Awesome. <laughs> it was great. I love it. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. 
Thank you, man. Thank you. Del. And then we have these. Now these are the Energon. Most of you guys will know this anyway. These are uh, Energon Constructicons. So we've got Steam Hammer. Okay. Very nice. Took me a while to figure out how to see a fat picture of him in his alt mode to find out how he did it. Um, and Sledge. So, thank you. And then, my Optimus Primal. Love him. He's really good. Hi, <laughs> Beast Box. So he's like, uh, it, it, he tends to be twisting. I've seen in things when you press that, he does. Do, 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 do. Well, he's actually going, ah, kind of thing. I dropped him. Um, but this guy, he um, just, when I do it, he twists. So I'm going to figure out how to fix this. Any of you guys know of any ideas? Let me know what I'll put it in. Send a link or something to a video, you know. I'll have a look on YouTube so I can find anything. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get it fixed. Thank you. Thank you for them. Um, brilliant. I'm going to go on to them in a sec with uh, Auto Assembly because they are going to, they're going to, they're going to be my theme. I'm going to get the bits that are required. Like, for instance, Bumblebee needs uh, his weapons, so I'm going to find them. I'm going to find another energy on Constructs um, uh, Bone Crusher. Oh, I've got him here. Uh, Bone Crusher, Dust Storm, Wide Load, and then get all the bits. Make sure I've got the, you know, the weapons. Um, but my theme this year for AA is beasts. Oh yes, beasts. I've got the I've got the the leaders, so I might as well get the rest of them. So on um, to that end. This year, my target is to get every character in season one. So that's uh, Rat Trap, uh, Rhinox, Dinobot, Cheeto, Air Razor, and uh, Tigertron. Then Pterosaur, Tarantulas, uh, Waspinator, Inferno, Black Arachnia, uh, and say Scorponok. I'm going to take Scorponok as well. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get them for this year. Just the basic ones. And then build up. See, isn't it good? I'm, I'm a late starter. And I'm doing all this. And some of you are going, oh, <laughs> I remember that. You, you be there, and, and it's like it's like seeing it all new for the first time. I'm a bit backwards when it comes to the Beast stuff because um, when Beast Wars was out, uh, came out, um, I was working at Manchester Magistrates at the time, so I never got a chance. Uh, it was all, that's why I first saw it. It was on the TV. Like, oh, what's that? Oh, I've got to do my job. So I never, I missed it all. I missed the whole show thing. Um, but I saw Beast Machines. Uh, later on when that came out. So I saw that properly first. So, uh, yeah. A bit backwards on the, on the shows themselves. Um, so I will catch up with you. Definitely. So, loving it. Right. So, to the AA. I'm going on about AA already. It's January. And we were, so I started this off, right? I started this off on uh, Monday when we had our Skype Monday. Uh, which has changed to Sundays now. So we're, we're actually Skyping tomorrow. Um, and I was saying, I've just, it's, it's New Year and it's January, which means Auto Assembly is this year. Auto Assembly 2013. This year, eight months' time. It's less than eight months' time. I can't believe I'm counting. But everyone's talking about it as well now because I started it off. Oh, this is great. Auto Assembly 2013. And it's going to be amazing for me because it's like I went last year and spent 24 hours there because I spent up. I got a bit giddy. I don't know if everyone did that on their first time, but I just went bleh and spent and spent everything. So uh, this year is going to be the whole weekend, and this year because I've got a few friends now. I have a few friends. Actually, I was a bit of a Billy No Mates last year. Um, a bit of a Billy No Mates last year. I didn't know anyone. I did one video. Um, so this year it's like I know people. I go hello. There's you, and you, and you over there. Oh, what a drink. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh. 
I need to quench my thirst. But I shall move on. I shall go on. Oh yeah. So I know everyone now. I'm on Skype Sundays. Uh, like uh, Raz, Razatron, JP. I'm on uh, with Fallen835. I do um, Stephen, uh, Live for Everything, Die for Nothing. I, you know what? I get it mixed up, man. I'm sorry. Stephen, if you don't mind, I'll just call you Steve. <coughs> uh, Tony, uh, Soundwave. Um, God, Adam. I'm um, Bet. He, uh, you know these guys. These guys. Danny, yo, uh, these guys are great, and we we chat about all kinds of stuff. And then I'm on the webisodes, uh, the webisodes, the um, podcasts for uh, iconic reviews, which is going to be back in February. We got something special for you all, and we've got a guest for the first one. Oh yes, we have. Yes. So uh, that would be good. So I've got all these things that I'm doing in the Transformers community, and I know more, more, no more. I'm knowing more and more people. So it's great, and these guys are top blokes. All of them. All of them. the guys I met last year were great. You know what I mean? Um, um, but I, I know them now. You know, like uh, TF Nolsey. I, I'm chatting to him all the time. I've got to meet him before here. Yeah. And uh, Fallen835, I'm meeting him mid-February. We're going to do a meet in London. So, yay! Got, buy me ticket, Rob. Buy me ticket. So, because I'm doing the camera thing, this camera with the new Get Open, I am sussed out what program to use yet. I need an editing program for an HD camera. So uh, the one that I did have, uh, the uh, uh, Serif, doesn't work on this because it's HD. I need something for HD. So I'll get that sorted. And get it up. Anyone got any ideas on editing software? Not Movie Maker because it makes this look shit. It's crap. And, it, and, it, and I can't use... I'm using a Logitech C920 so I'm using the software for that to, to record it. And I'm just sticking it on YouTube and it takes ages because of it. I think that's because it's HD. Though. But if anyone has any ideas on software at a decent price, and I'm talking 50 quid at tops. I think there's a Serif HD one. Is anyone using that? Let me know. Comment on the bottom. Because I want to get the titles back up again so you know what I'm doing. Because at the moment, you don't know what's going on. Only me and Stephen knows. What's happening? Because he said that's a good idea. I had two choices: this one or something else. And he went, "You know what, Jim? You should do this one." And I will. There you go, Stephen. Oh, by the way, Stephen, get on the videos, man. Get some more videos done. Don't give a shit what other people are thinking. You, you're there. You're self-conscious. Don't, man. Just get on there. Be an idiot. Get it out on YouTube. And you'll be fine. I like your videos, man. I like your collection. I'd love to see some of that stuff for reviewing. Yeah, you love Bumblebee. Start on Bumblebee, man. Start on Bumblebee. Get on. I'm telling you now, everyone everyone who knows, everyone who watches this, I want you to make a comment, right, on what you think about getting on YouTube. Because a lot of you do. A lot of you subscribers, uh, mine, thank you, by the way. Thank you. Um, are YouTubers as well. So get on. Put your 10 pennies with him. Or make a video. Put your 10 pennies with him. Because I bet you any money, he's got he's, he's, he's subscribed to you as well. Steven? Get online. Live for nothing, die for everything. Awesome type name. You need to get online. You need to get on YouTube and do some more videos, man. Tell us why you love Bumblebee. That's your first one. Tell us why. Or just show us why. Masterpiece Skywalk. I've had three presents of my wife regarding Transformers. The first one was Power Master. Optimus Prime with the Apex arm. The second one was Masterpiece Optimus Prime in PO1. These were the, the Argos. This one was as well. Love it. Look at him with his, with his going there. Zoom in. I've got the cheeky smile on if I can keep him steady. I do that really. Oh, rubbish. Get in there. 
Do it. Do you fucker. Oh, you're a bugger. Hang on. Wait. There we go. I have to put a finger in so they know what it is. You know, with his cheeky smile. I know that's a Starscream one, but I like the cheeky smile. Do you know why? Because it's a sexy box. Yeah, it is. This is sexy. Black, purple, silver. Little wink there. Little salute. I love it. It's gorgeous. Sex. It's sex in plastic. The only other better sheet would be a dildo. In plastic. Uh, not that I take him for it. Just, just, just a, an embodiment of sex. Do the dildo on this. But anyway, never mind. Um, so. Uh, brilliant. I love this toy. Articulation, great. The fact that it doesn't fall off like MP01. No offence to MP01. MP01 was an engineering spectacular. But this, wow. They only had to do a few tweaks to improve this, which was these bits, the ability to stand, the head. And that's about it, really. Everything else is just, you know, I won't say the guns are improvement. But, yeah. Uh, this is gorgeous. Now, as I was saying, the ability to stand. This thing could not stand on its own. But they brought a stand. You can stand it up. And it has Skywarp. In there. Yeah. Come in close. You can see it. It stands on there. It goes in whichever way you want. Sorry. A gorgeous toy. Um... <clears throat> And then, we just take that out and put it down there. Put it down there, you. Yeah, pick them out. Slide that in. Take the missiles off. Replace them with his weapons. And that's we're ready to take his old mode. Take it, baby. So yeah, his um, fingers, articulation, oh, it's just really good, it's just amazing. You know the articulation on this thing. It's gorgeous. Alright, gorgeous model. Colors. I'd love to get, I would love to get all three of them. Just the Hasbro ones, man, you know. Because um, they've got Thundercracker now. You know what? <laughs> Every time the wife hears me go Thundercracker, she goes, <laughs> Thundercrackers. She goes, thunder crackers, thunder crackers. She has a thing with thunder cracker, I guess. But, um, yeah. Oh, speaking of thunder cracker, his spotlight's out. This month. It's January now. I think it's next week. 20. I think it's 23rd, 24th, something like that. It's out. That would be good. Be grand, so yeah, he'd be nice. Um, but um, yeah, I'd love to get, I'd love to get the other ones. And but I don't have the money. I don't have the money, unfortunately. And I've got to prioritise, haven't I? Because like I am, in essence, a newcomer to the whole collector thing. Um, so I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Um. Cost money, and I've got to prioritize. I think I said that. Oh. So um, yes, um, I, I, the thing about the Hasbro, I've seen a thing about the Hasbro thing. Um, third party. I'm a bit ah with the third party because how are I? They brought some really nice stuff. But they're really expensive, and I understand why. I understand why. Um, so you've got to you got to um, weigh it up, well, haven't you? Yeah. So I don't want to get the cone heads. I do, um, what I do want to get top spin and twin twist. Oh, they look really good. They look gorgeous. Um, so yeah. I, um, so some of them. I'm interested in definitely. Um, I want to do the wreckers. I 
I did do the records, they'd be awesome. I got cut. I want to do the old records and the new records. So I've got cut, the Perceptor, and I've got um, Drift. I want to get Roadbuster. They've got to bring out a Roadbuster. Third party or Hasbro, bring out Roadbuster. Or bring out the G1 again. He'd be great. Um, and uh, who else? Uh, Rack and Ruin. How hard is it to do Rack and Ruin? Not hard at all. Because he doesn't transform. And I know he's not a transformer, but it's Rack and Ruin. You know what I mean? He's in the, he's in the, he's in this uh, spotlight array packs, which we did on uh, iconic reviews. Um, and he, they're in that. Brilliant. I love it. It's great. Brilliant. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh yeah, that's right. In there, like that. And we have to straighten this out now. Just cause me a moment. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this all wrong. All wrong. There we go. That's it. That's how we play the game. Ah. No, that's right. No, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Rubbish me, honestly. There. So, um, yeah, so I'm into the plastic now. Oh, I'm into the plastic now. I wanna get um I wanna get the beast what beast machine stuff. If I find any extra stuff in there, I'll I'll get it. But um the the cast, the main the main characters from the first season. Um I don't think any transmetals happened then, did they? They did once till the second season, wasn't it? So I'll get them then. So this year it's just the basic stuff. But if I find any extra, if I've got money left, I'll get some extra, some extra stuff. I'll get some money extra box as well. Because um, that that Cheeto TF Nosey, nice bot man. I know I said to you on the thing, but it's it is a nice bot. I really like it, um, and I do want to get it. Come on, it's A's. Yeah, I do want to get it. Just trying to fit these things in. These ain't for your kids, man. Nowhere near for your kids. So, nearly done. It's very intricate. And this is what Transformers is all about. This is the original idea behind them all. Okay? Right? It's a, it's, a, it's a car or a plane and a robot. And puzzle. And it's genius. And that's what these are about. These are puzzles. They're awesome. um, so this is a, a proper puzzle, and once you, it's it's intricate, it's involving. Um, you do this, and you feel good about it when you've done it. You really do. So once you, it's lining everything up. Once it's lined up, you then squeeze everything together. Come on now, we'll get in there. Thank you. Back down, back down. Move them up. See how I did that without even breaking them. That's cool. Because what you do, you keep them bent. You know, in for robot mode, you keep them like that. You pull them out, pull that down, and they come out. And so when you're transforming him back, you just do that. So you have these, you flip that up, you flip that up. That's it. And it's just in reverse. So these are the last things you do. That way it doesn't come off all the time. Like that. There you go. So, yeah, gorgeous toy. Look, I mean, oh, even the, the bot was good. The bot was sexy, right? But this... That was like chocolate cake, the bot mode. This is chocolate cake. With double bit cream all over it. And the cherry. I'm feeling very moist at the moment. This car is. Wait, get in there. There we go. Oh, oh, what's he doing? There we go. Um, look at the design on that. Look at the detail on that. Come here, you. Get in. 
There we go. Look at the detail on that. Let's just zoom that in. Yeah. Gorgeous. And he stands on this and he looks amazing. And we had him downstairs in the living room for ages. A little sleep thing. Oh, I didn't see it. I was cheeky. So, yeah, the colours are brilliant in this form as well. Um, you, you get a lot. This is one of the best. Because it works. All this is all packed up. This looks better. I find that this looks better than the new version. Newer version. Because that one's all like square. They've taken a lot of this round stuff off to debulk it. Which I kind of like, but I, I do prefer this one better. And there's a couple of gimmicks in this one as well. Um, in the old one, I, I did show you, did I? Sorry. But I did it. I got confused because of the fur in the rehearsal. It turned out to be a rehearsal. I did it. But Bazooka Boobs, I'm sure you've all seen it anyway. In this one, you've got, uh, you can open up the nose so you can see it's sensor array. Okay. Very nice. Target system and all that. You've got uh, a windbreak, an airbreak. Landing. And also catches. Open up there. So, yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous toy. Not for the faint hearted, and certainly not for your eight year old. You keep these away from your kids. My grandson does not touch this, and he knows not to touch Skyrim. Um, he, he did break my hot rod. Not the G1. I don't have a G1. No, the Classics one. You know the maroon one? I've got two of them. I've got the Hasbro Hunt for the Decepticons. You know the, Oh, no, Reveal the Shield. You see the Reveal the Shield, the Hunt for the Decepticons. And then you've got the darker one. I've got it. Brought, brought that. But it was the, the joint that always breaks. On him, you know, the chest bit. So I need to go and get a replacement for that. Either fi for fixing or whatever. But there you go. That is my review on Masterpiece Skywalk. And this is Monkey. Saying, be good to yourselves. And to each other, take care of yourselves. Be good. Alright, and I'll see you next week. Alright, take care.